Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today is going to be a short tutorial and I want to go through a little trick I learned about how to enter a complex formula and make it easier to evaluate when you have really complicated and multiple components to your formula. Now I learned this trick from Minda Treacy from my online training hub. Minda is an Excel MVP from Australia, has a wonderful website, great tutorials, great training sessions that she offers. So she's a wonderful resource, and if you have a chance, I would definitely go to visit her site. Again, that's myonlinetraininghub.com, and Minda Treacy is her name. But in any case, let's take a look and see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list of zip codes here that I downloaded and because they come in different formats and views, I basically want to clean them all up. So the first zip code should have had a zero in front, but because it was a number, it dropped that zero off. The next one showed all nine digits. Other ones are the regular five digits and there were some that were just missing. So in column C, I want to just have the five digit zip codes for those or if it's blank just leave it as blank. So I want to enter this formula and the, basically the formula is just an embedded if statement that says if the length of B4 is 4 then concatenate a 0 onto it. If it's 5 then just give me that zip code. If the length of it is 9 then just give me the left five digits or if it's blank just leave it as a blank. Now again, this isn't all that complicated of a formula, but think about some of them that you might have that could have larger sections of uh, offset functions or VLOOKUPs and, and uh, indirect functions, etc. And you need to just evaluate that formula and maybe four or five, six hundred characters long, who knows. And to look at that and see where the breaks are and what components are doing what may be a bit difficult. So I'm going to show you this trick that I learned from Minda and hopefully it'll be helpful for you when you're building your complicated formulas. So normally you would go into your cell, I'd click into C2 and then just start typing your formula and hit enter. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that cell, then I'm going to go up to my formula bar and expand it down a little bit, and then go into my formula bar and type it in there rather than into the cell. So I'm going to say equals if, and in this case, the length of B2, if it equals 4, then I want to take a 0 and concatenate it with B2. Now instead of just continuing on, I'm going to hit Alt-Enter to go down to the next line. If not, then if the length of B2 equals 5, then just give me B2, comma. Again, I'm going to hit Alt-Enter. If not, then if the length of B2 equals 9, then give me the left of B2 five digits. And if not, Alt Enter again, double quotes, and then I'm just going to close my parentheses three times, hit Enter, and it gives me the result by concatenating that zero on there. But now in my formula bar, when I look at it, it's much easier to read, and I can see the various aspects or components of my formula. If the length of B2 equals 4, then give me a 0 concatenated to that. If it's a 5, then give me B2. If it's 9, then just give me the left 5 digits. Or if not, then just give me a blank. And that just makes it much easier to read. Now I'm just going to copy this down so you can see how it worked on all the different styles of zip codes that we had. And it looks much cleaner than what we had before. Now, the other thing that you can do, if you already have your formula typed out, now here is this formula, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the apostrophe that we have there and hit enter. If I already have my formula in this fashion, and again, I'm just trying to evaluate it to see how it works, the different components of it, I can still take that formula 
expand my formula bar, and then click into the various sections, hit Alt Enter, and again, get the same result. So it makes it a little easier, again, to evaluate that formula and decide or determine or figure out in your head how the structure of that formula is working. And that's how you can do this in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day and happy excelling.